Making your getaway in a decorated car is a long-standing tradition. But instead of adding shoe polish hearts to the windows of your SUV, why not add a little fun and style to your exit by making your getaway in an adorable mini moke? So if the moke looks familiar, it's based upon a military vehicle that was produced in the UK at the end of World War II and uh, didn't really take off as a military vehicle but was quickly repurposed as an estate cruiser, a beach cruiser, a town get around vehicle. It's great being in the wedding business. I love being part of the special day for the bride and groom. Being able to create a unique and memorable experience is something that we just love to be a part of. The bride and groom looks back on their photos and the moke just makes people smile. As you can see, the moke is eye-catching, chic and stylish, and makes for the perfect accessory to a wedding. We've had people at weddings um, feature their whole family in the moke or the wedding party, shuttle the wedding party to and fro. It's super fun and functional. For photographers, it's great. They can load in all their equipment and take the bride and groom to various spots around the venue and take some great photos that they may have not uh, been able to capture otherwise. Since they've become electric, they are eco-friendly, zero emissions, and obviously very quiet, so great for weddings. People love getting their photo taken in a moak, so it's been really fun to have them parked at weddings and events because everyone's jumping in and you know doing all their crazy dance moves while in the moak. <laughs> People have had their dogs and their you know their whole extended family photographed in them, so it just adds another little um, iconic panache to their event. So traditionally in some weddings they have a getaway car, which may be a Rolls Royce, a limousine, something like that. The Mini Moke makes for a great getaway car. Jackie O back in the day actually used the Mini Moke for her getaway car. The car is really well built. It's steel construction, it's got um, sport wheels, it's got disc brakes, uh, power steering. Great suspension, it really rides the road very comfortably and smooth. It's not bouncy like you might imagine. Um, it's not the same as, say, for example, a golf cart. It's just got this super great look. Um, a lot of people go, I think I've seen that before. And I, I rented one in St. Bart, or I learned to drive one when I lived in Australia when I was a kid. It's amazing because We've driven a lot of crazy cars being San Diegans, but nothing gets more smiles or more thumbs up or more shout outs than the moke. People just love it. It makes people smile. It's so fun. If you want to have a lot of fun, if you want to spark joy in yourself and people who see you driving the moke down, it's really, really fun. The best thing I like about the moke is that it makes people smile. Whether you know the history of it as being a classic car, or you just look at it and fall in love with it, it just makes people smile. That might be the cutest car I've ever seen. What a fun and eco-friendly way to make your getaway.